I've seen a lot of talk come up in the past month or so about the transgender community. Some of this is downright hostile, well, some of it attempts to be supportive, but actually ends up being harmful. In either case, the takeaway for me has been that there's a lot of misunderstanding about gender and what it means to be transgender. Now, either this is the Bader-Meinhof phenomenon, or we're reaching a social inflection point regarding this issue. In either case, I'd like to take the opportunity to clear up some misconceptions to help make the world just a little bit better. I'd like to start out by clearly defining some terms, starting with sex. Sex, in the context of this discussion, is a biological trait. This is often defined either by physiology or genetics. For humans, we typically see two sexes, male and female. There are exceptions, such as intersex, where physiology is ambiguous or does not match genetics, and cases where individuals have two X chromosomes and a Y chromosome. Well, these people should not be marginalized. We will work the two most common sexes for the sake of simplicity in this discussion. Next, I'd like to define gender. Gender is a social trait, that is, one defined by our societies. It is a label that is typically associated with social norms and expectations. But what's important here is that it is not a biological trait. It is not the same as sex. The two most common genders, men and women for adults, or boys and girls for kids respectively, has historically been assigned based on sex. Males have typically been assigned the gender role of man, while females have typically been assigned the gender role of woman. But this is a social convention, and there's no reason we need to abide by it. It isn't set in stone. For the sake of simplicity, the two genders already mentioned will be the two I discuss. However, given it's a social construct, there's really no reason other genders or lack of gender can't exist. With this knowledge, we can now define what it means to be transgender, and why someone would become transgender. Simply put, a transgender person is someone who has changed, trans, their gender. Typically, this is someone who does not feel comfortable with the social norms and expectations of the gender assigned to them, which is, again, typically man for males or woman for females. As such, they might feel more comfortable with the social norms and expectations of a different gender, and so they transition to the gender they feel most comfortable with. It really is that simple, and while not all of us can necessarily, necessarily relate, I think it's straightforward enough to understand. Personally, I don't think I care enough about what it means to be a man or a woman to feel uncomfortable with my gender. I don't ascribe enough significance to gender, or even really respect gender roles enough to feel uncomfortable as a man. But Humans are complex, and we all have our own values and thoughts, and I think we need to be respectful of others for that. Now, another term that often comes up in these discussions is transsexual. Quite often, this gets used interchangeably with transgender, and I myself am guilty of that. But it is different, and I've been trying my best not to mix those up. So to explain, if transgender, it is transitioning from one gender to another gender, then transsexual means transitioning from one sex to another sex. This would typically mean someone who has gone through some medical procedure to change their sex. This might be hormone replacement therapy or some form of surgery. These are processes that transgender people more often than not don't go through. And my understanding is that if one does choose to go through this, there will be a lot of evaluations to make sure this is the best route for them. What's important to understand is that, given sex and gender are different, not going through these procedures does not make anyone less of a man or less of a woman. Now, it's easy to point to people who are hostile towards the transgender community and how they're wrong um, but as I mentioned, there are misconceptions even amongst those who are trying to be supportive. One incident recently that highlights this, pressure, uh, this issue is pressure on Rockstar Games to remove certain NPCs from Grand Theft Auto V. 
These characters specifically were drag queens outside of clubs. The argument for why they should be removed was that they are offensive to the transgender community. And the issue here is that calling this offensive to the transgender community is actually hurtful to the transgender com community. And to explain this, I must give some more definition. And I'll, ex I'll start by explaining what a drag queen is. A drag queen is a man who is trying to look like a woman, often for performance. This is often through the use of a combination of cross-dressing, makeup, and prosthetics, among other techniques. There are various reasons that people will cross-dress. A drag queen might want to perform, or a sissy might find it erotic. One of my good friends has an ex who told me that he likes to cross-dress just to confuse people. But in all cases, these are people intentionally dressing as the opposite gender, and that's the key takeaway. This poses a question. If a man dresses in a summer dress just for the comfort of it, is he cross-dressing? I'd argue not, but that's a whole other social topic to discuss. Now, let's reflect on how the pressure on Rockstar actually does more harm than good towards the transgender community. In this case, we will specifically be discussing transgender women. Uh, a transgender woman is typically a male who was assigned the gender of man at birth, but who feels more comfortable as the gender of woman. And as such, they have transitioned to being a woman, which means they are a woman. A drag queen, on the other hand, is a man who is trying to look like a woman. So, by calling a drag queen in the game offensive to the transgender community, that is equating transgender women to drag queens, which comes with the implication that transgender women are men who are trying to look like women, which is false. And when you are a transgender woman who is constantly dealing with society trying to tell you that you're just a man who thinks he's a woman, and you finally find someone supportive, only for them to imply that you're just a man who's trying to look like a woman, that's pretty brutal. So, what we need to understand as a society is that these are different topics. These are unrelated, and we cannot be equating them at all. Sure, there are probably transgender people who do cross-dress. For example, a trans man who likes to wear women's clothing, but that's unrelated. This brings me to a common argument that people will make against transgender people. Often people will say that's wrong to pretend to be a gender that you are not. And I'd agree with that statement wholeheartedly. People need to be themselves. The difference is, I'd say that those who have transitioned have done so exactly so that they can stop pretending to be a gender that they are not. They have taken a big step in being themselves, despite the immense social pressure not to. And society as a whole could learn something from that. We should all do our best to be ourselves, despite the social pressures not to. And on that note, I really do hope that this is helpful for people. I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about what it truly means to be transgender, and I, I think a better understanding would be beneficial for society as a whole. Having people in my life whom I care about very much, uh, who are in the transgender community, this is something I feel strongly about, and I hope explaining this is able to help make the world that much better. So thank you very much for watching, and please be excellent to each other.